basically, I was driving down the Chelsea Straight, yep. and uh, it's like a bit of debris on the road. Right. Um, and then as I looked down, I saw a guy laid on the pavement on the, with a bike. Right. Do we know what was on the road? Uh, you can see bits and pieces of broken light. A broken um, light? Bits and pieces of a bike and broken like a headlight. Right. So in that case, then, right, yeah. hold on then. Uh, plastic and glass and other stuff. Bit of a wing mirror as well. From what you've told me, it appears if there's light debris on the road, it appears he may have been hit. Yeah. Is he the male being treated now? He is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Doesn't look too good, to be honest. Oh, gosh. I parked my car at the pub probably about half an hour four or five hours ago mm-hmm. and um, my dad just rang me asking if I'm alright and I was like yeah I'm fine why and he turned around and said because the um, the Charlie Strait is closed off or something and um, then he turned around and said can I check your registration number and I gave him my registration number and he said my car's gone so your car's missing from the pub the car's been stolen, yeah. and then there was an accident because the whole of the roads closed off. Um, so yeah, now I'm. I want to know where the hell my car is. I can't believe how callous. So calm, isn't, isn't she? So calm. Isn't there's no. She's just gone out and killed somebody and. That's the response. If somebody's, you knock somebody off in a hit and run, the consequences are so far severe that if you leave them, they're in the road. Mm. The best thing you can hope for is that if you're drunk, speeding, or anything like that, that these guys, the police, catch you first. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario has been in a situation like we are. We've lost our brother.